is Lynch coming up. Now I know why. Alley up to Dale to oh, Beautiful play. That kid is amazing. There he is, overnight basketball sensation Jeremy Lin during last night's game against New Orleans. They lost that game, uh, breaking their streak. But the Knicks point guard, who was virtually unknown until now, is still, as they say, linning, an expression that could soon be trademark, linsanity, uh, is spreading throughout the business world as well. As major companies trying to tap into Lin's newfound fame, Ed Butkowski is the managing partner of Chapwood Capital Investment Management. He joins us now. You know, you've had a lot of experience uh, managing the personal affairs of uh, all kinds of uh, star athletes, including uh, working with the NBA. So what do you make of Jeremy Lin and his financial potential? Well, I think it's fabulous, but uh, and I love you know I just love the whole story, and everybody likes a story like this. Somebody who makes very little money then gets a contract with the NBA because remember when he was playing in the development league, Greg, they didn't ma they do not make more than twenty five thousand dollars a year. He then got a contract with the New York Knicks, which is fantastic, and now he's got this breakout sensation. At the same time, it's really early to tell what impact he's going to have, uh, really from an endorsement standpoint. But let's just enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, right? I mean he's. He's got to be able to sustain it so that he's not, uh, you know, a flash in the pan mm -hmm. because there is what's known as star risk, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of star risk, a lot of headline risk. And I think if you start really thinking about the, the uh, commercials that we're watching these days, you're not seeing as many athletes attached to brands because we've had yeah. some bad history when you go back to Kobe and Tiger and some of these other stories. So a lot of companies are saying, you know what, let's not go there yet. Right. However, if they're going to go there, this Jeremy Lin looks like a great one, doesn't well, he? Well, because he's different. And here's why. Right. Uh, in, in addition to being immensely talented, he's a Chinese descent, the born in America. Mm -hmm. So you've got a larger right. worldwide market potentially. Uh, second of all, he's a Harvard grad, which is a great story. He was apparently a very bright student. And third, he is the most humble um, and, and complimentary of his fellow athletes and teammates. I mean, the commentators ask him after a game, gosh, you were great on this and this, and he's always like, no, 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 it wasn't me. It's my, it's my uh, teammates who did all the great work. And he, he thanks God. That's another aspect to him. So he's unique, is he not? Oh, he's very, very unique. And the, the possibilities, think about this. If he takes the Knicks to the playoffs, which we all hope, and then if they go deep into the playoffs, think about the endorsements that this young, young man's going to get, as long as he stays in the starting lineup, because there's still you know, discussions about having you know, Byron Davis come off and you know, come back from injury and start playing again. So there's a lot to play out here. But think about this. The Knicks win the championship. Lynn is the point guard. Think about how much money this young man's going to get. Yeah. The marketing arm, and your pals with a guy who runs mm -hmm. that, uh, publishes, right. as I understand it, star ranking. So how does Lynn rank? Well, Jeff, Jeff Chown, they put out something um, having to do with how celebrities rank in a lot of different areas. He has actually moved very quickly. He is basically is well known right now as Kevin Durant is uh, throughout the country. And from an influence standpoint, I thought this was pretty interesting. There are two statistics here. He ranks number 43 right in line or just a little bit ahead of uh, Bill Cosby. But the one that really caught me had to do with uh, influence as well. I believe it was the number 114 right in line with Matt Lauer from NBC. Uh, uh, the Today Show. So yeah. uh, he's really moved up quickly and uh, he's getting very well known. Yeah, along with Matt Lauer, Robert Redford, and actress uh, Julia Roberts. That's pretty amazing. That's right. Um, yeah, all right, I, so I, wait a minute. We hope, how we much, hope it continues. How much money can this guy make in terms of endorsements, do you think? What's his potential? It's questionable. I represent a lot of very well-known uh, professional athletes. They don't make as much as you think, and they have to have some sustainability. So uh, there's not going to be a lot there. I mean, he averages six hundred thousand dollars salary, which is very, very high. The average in the NBA is five million. Right. Uh, how much could he make? Everyone talks about what he can do with products and the potential of going overseas and then obviously into China. Sure. So he could make more than just about anybody because how big of a market he could actually uh, be relevant in. Hey, uh but it's Me really early. Remember when Tiger Woods turned pro? Uh, I think he did one year at Stanford uh, undergrad, and then he turned pro. And he mm -hmm. signed an astonishing, I think it was like a $15 million Nike deal at the time. That's Are right. those deals yep. uh, long ago? They don't do those deals anymore? 
They, they, they do some of them, and some of my clients have some very big contracts, uh, but there's also contingencies along with them. I mean, Nike and Reebok like to announce these big numbers, but if you really watch and look at those numbers, they never add up to be quite what you think they are. Yeah. So there's a lot of fuzzy math in these uh, numbers, Greg. Um, I hope Jeremy Lin does great, and I hope the Knicks do too, but it's still too early to tell. I think people have been try trying to trademark some of the, the Lin names, Lin Sanity, Lin Tastic, and and all of that stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure they can get away with that, but can they? Well, yeah, I'm a lawyer. I, mean, I should accepted. know the answer to that question. <laughs> you should ask me. You could. I don't know it, the it answer could to happen. that question. I think they've been trying uh, almost immediately since he became lintastic. Uh, Ed Bukowski, yes. thank you very much for being with us, Ed. Good to see you.